it's a really nice day. It's getting warmer and warmer. And for a change, it's quiet here on the weekend. So I'm wondering if my neighbor who is working on his big shed back there, who's been quiet for, I think they, they must have gone away for the long weekend. Because there's nothing, no sound, nothing. And no work being done on that. So, nice quiet weekend for a change here. Usually weekends are noisy, but it seems like uh, many people have gone away, except for the fireworks. They keep persisting with the fireworks. Yeah. Uh, my phone will need charging soon. My iPad is currently charging. Which annoys me because I'm enjoying my book. But whatever. I have another book. Of course, this is what I always do in the summer when I uh, read from my iPad. I have to have another book to read when I run out of power. And this is my my uh, my Mother's Day gift. I, has, I got evil as a Mother's Day. No, I got gift certificate to, to Indigo chapters and I, I spent it. It's hard for me to buy books. Yes, I know. I know. It's running out of power. Um, I place because I, I just like my fiction and my sci-fi and that's basically what I like to power through. But I sometimes like biographies. Bizarre. You know. And uh, this one intrigued me. So it's the science behind humanity's dark side. I thought that would be interesting. And it is. But, you know, what I'm finding is that I can only... Get away, mosquito. I can only read so much of it. It makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Reading about um, how people are unpleasant, reading about evil people, um, nasty people, makes me uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. So even though I sometimes feel that I am nasty myself, I'm at a different level. Really, mosquitoes, I'm going to show some nastiness towards you if you don't get away. Yeah, this, this, this kind of evil that, they're, that she's talking about makes me uncomfortable. She's describing uh, how they, they did a, an experiment where they offered uh, four different, different types of jobs to people. A job where you squish bugs, a, a job where you squish bugs, and you know, all these different levels of unpleasant types of jobs. And uh, there's no way I would want to do any of them. That's just not me. I mean, I will, yeah, I will, I will squish bugs, but I will not squish bugs outdoors, okay? When I'm outdoors, that is the bugs environment. It's their right to be outdoors. Inside, that's my environment. They have no right. So I will kill spiders. I will kill mosquitoes. I will kill everything that comes into my house. Okay. Now, 
if you're a mouse, I will let you out. Okay, because you came in for bad reasons, but you made a wrong choice. Um, you know, those creatures I will let out, but the ones that are not let outable, I'm not going to let them out. I'm going to squish them and be done with them. But not by choice when I'm in a different situation. No way. So, like I said, this is a difficult book to read. Straight through. I can do it. Makes me very uncomfortable. Which makes me happy that I am not that kind of nasty person. Yeah, a, a nut fell down right beside us when Gail and I were talking this morning because I had gotten, because of all the walking that I've been doing lately, and I, I've been getting tired. We've been standing around for longer and longer periods. So every morning we just stand around and talk. Well, today I pulled out my my two green chairs that are leaning up against the shed, and I said, let's sit down while we talk. <laughs> we proceeded to sit there for a very long time. Is she got a handicapped kid? No. Huh. I see. That could be. Oh, that's sad. Sad. Right. So uh, we sat down on my two green chairs there, and Kill sitting there, the dogs are sitting there, and all of a sudden, bam! A nut came down right beside her. And she went, I said, Yeah, that's why I sit under here. No, I don't think that's my neighbor's kid. No, I don't think so. That's someone who's visiting there. I, I don't know, make me wrong. I, I have no idea. Anyway. Yeah. Having a handicapped child never one of my fears, but afterwards I thought, oh, what a terrible situation. I'm, I know you love your children, but uh, their lives Boy, I've been sidetracked, haven't I? Uh, yeah. Gotta water my plants. That one's getting repotted. Yes. And I think, well, that one's getting some soil added to it. The rest are okay. But that one definitely needs repotting. Really. I want to keep it alive. I want it to survive another 30 years. It's a 30 year old plant. At least, right? So, uh, yeah. Oh, it was a great weekend. Great weekend. Why did my Why did my iPad have to run dim? Because <laughs> you read all day yesterday, and you ran it down. And you read all morning and you ran it down. That's why. Okay, I have to go back to reading about the science behind humanity's dark side. And yes, there are people who have dark sides. That is quite obvious. But there are many people who have a dark side and who are sadistic and take pleasure in other people's pain. But I, I'm not one of them. I don't like anything else having pain cause
caused by me. When my kids were babies, it hurt me so bad the first time they startled because I made a, a loud noise. Can you imagine your baby going, because you made a loud noise that scared them. Oh, that just cut me. So, you know, I don't cause pain. I try not to cause pain. But like I said, I think I may sometimes be too much like my mother and may sometimes cause I don't know what you call it. I may sometimes be nasty, I don't know.